Epsilon Health, 464 people have died from COVID-19. Uh, this was after seven new deaths were reported by the Ghana Health Service in the latest data capturing events on 4th of February 2021. There were 765 new cases on the day, sending the country's active cases to 6,411. There are 112 people who the service says are suffering severe COVID-19 symptoms, with 32 people saying to be in critical state. Meanwhile, at the Akonsombo International School, the number of COVID-19 cases have gone up by 37. This brings the uh, total number of cases to, 700, to 79, comprising 74 students and five members of staff. With cases rising among students and young children, there have been calls for the shutdown of schools. Virologists at the KCCR, Dr. Michael Owusu, wants government to take a firm decision on school children below six years. One, uh, we'll, we'll be speaking to um, Dr. Michael Owusu, who joins us via Zoom. Uh, Doc, uh, many thanks for your time. You are concerned about children below age six attending school, but why only age six? Yeah, uh, good evening to you, Aisha. Um, so um, as, as we have reported and across uh, the country, you have seen that there are some uh, possible increases in cases across school. But my worry is that for the upper primary, uh, junior high school, senior high school, and tertiary school, uh, by the protocols that the GS has ruled out and for who the educational service has ruled out, they are able to comply to some level, uh, which will mean that even if there are infection, possibility of isolation and contact tracing is possible uh, to some percent, I mean, to some level, this is workable. But my major concern is those who are six years and below. It looks as if implementation of the protocol is, is not very practical. Uh, these are children that ever since they open, if you have observed across board, wearing of masks is very difficult. I mean, one year, two year kindergarten children, it, it's, it's almost extremely difficult to ensure that they observe the protocol. But the difficulty is that these children are now going home to their parents and then infecting parents' home and parents are rather getting sick and being hospitalized. So although they may, they may have short-term fever, they may recover quickly, but then they don't spend their parents at home. And, and this, is, this is where we need to look at. If we have to tackle schools, I, I don't think that closure of all schools is necessary, but we may begin by looking at the kindergartens and the lower primary where we think that it is extremely difficult to fully implement the protocol. And then perhaps close these ones and then observe how the numbers will clear out. As you have mentioned, for me, the main outcome measures, which is the hospitalization, the deaths, and the new cases, does not seem to be improving. Uh, things are, are, are getting worse, and which will mean that the announcement made by the president needs to be enhanced for us to step up other measures that will ensure that we are able to reduce the new cases coming up, reduce hospitalization, and reduce deaths. And for me, if the school has to be looked at, then we have to look at the kindergartens and below. I think that Practicality at the schools is something that does not seem achievable. This is this is my my, my concern. Well, um, so far, how many children have tested uh, positive? I mean, as discovered by KCCR. Well, uh, we are still doing something in the range of ten percent, fifteen percent from the last time I said. The numbers are not much because most of the time children we we test are those who are symptomatic. Um, they have symptoms, disease they visit the hospitals and then these are tested. I mean, it's not a random testing where you want to understand or know the prevalence of disease across board to enable you to take a decision. So if you want to use the symptomatic prevalence to make a decision, it's extremely difficult. Unless there is a randomized sample, then you can make a better estimate. But the fact that even some children fall sick and come to the hospital should tell you that they got it perhaps from other contact who may be well. So if you are to expand the coverage and test wide range of children, then it's very possible. I mean, for those children who are in boarding uh, and closed places where they don't go home, it's a bit better to manage them at their facilities because they are not returning home with any sickness. But for those who go and come every day with symptoms of cold, fever, and they uh, see they are coughing, these are the, are the ones that can create problems because they go home and then they give it to parents who cannot be in max with them for 24 seven. So I think that that area needs to be looked at very well. If we have to work against this COVID, reduce the numbers, reduce the deaths, and we have to tackle 
the educational system. We must look at places where protocol implementation is difficult. And I think six years and below is something that we really have to uh, look at again. And how urgent is this call, uh, Dr. Michael Ousu? Well, I think that in the last president's announcement, he did mention that uh, some, some of the measures, what we call some of the suppressive measures, with the hope that these measures will lead to reduction in new cases, reduction in deaths, reduction in hospitalization. It's almost been over a week now, and things not seem to be getting better, and things, for me, is, is rather getting worse. So I will expect that in the next president's announcement, if there are areas the president will have to look at, then possibly this, this is an area to concern. I mean, UNICEF and WHO has made it clear that for children who are in kindergarten, they don't even advise them to be max because it can affect their psychological well-being and development because they need to study the movement of the mouth and allow the muscles and the other nerves to grow properly. So if such children are not even encouraged to put on max for their psychosocial development, then it tells you that it is difficult that even if one person has infection, you, you cannot manage, you cannot control, and you, you can talk to the teachers. It's difficult to tell one year, two year olds to put on marks throughout the period. They are doing their best, but it's not workable. But if we have to look at defeating this virus, then I think that these children can serve as precursors and can trigger infections at homes and, and cause many parents who are doing their own thing and observing their protocols to rather fall sick from these children. And that is why I think that in perhaps the next president's announcement, we, we have to look at this area and begin to observe how best of those who are able to manage the protocol and implement work. I'm grateful that you joined us. Dr. Michael Owusu is virologist with KCCR and lecturer at KNUSD.